and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Since Cinema 4D release 20, we have got volume modeling. So let me explain what volumes are. Volumes are made of voxel grids, and voxels are basically like pixels, but in 3D space. So what is a pixel? It's actually a container in a grid that stores a value. In this case, it's a color value, like white or a dark gray. And voxels are basically the same, but as I told you, in 3D space, so you can store values in a grid in 3D space. This can also be color, like in this example, where we have a dark gray or a white. When you want to create a volume inside of Cinema 4D, you need to use the new volume builder. And in this case, I already made a cube a volume. It's listed here inside of the volume builder and this is the viewport representation of that volume that was created here. And here you can see the voxels. Of course you can adjust the voxel size in order to increase the resolution. Let's make it 5 and then you see that the volume is more dense. But what I want to talk about now is the volume types. And there are two volume types and one is the signed distance field, which is the default and the other one is the fog. Signed distance fields are perfect for modeling because they offer you boolean type operations. So let's have a look at this screw. And once we disable the volume builder, you see that this screw is completely made of simple primitives, like a cylinder and a helix, a cone, a cylinder, and this small polygon objects up here. And once you turn all of these objects into a volume and perform these boolean type operations like subtracting the helix from the cylinder in order to get the thread here and then the cone, the cylinder and this polygon object here in order to create the top of the screw. This is all very simple and can be done in a matter of minutes. With signed distance fields the information that is stored in the voxels is the closest point to the surface. If they are outside the objects the sign is a plus if they are inside an object, the sign is a minus. That's why they are called signed distance fields. Fog volumes are a bit different. Normally they are used for rendering fluids, fire or smoke. And they fill up objects with voxels with values between 0 and 1, so basically weights. This is why fog volumes come with different blending modes compared to the signed distance fields. And one thing you can do with them is you can turn fields into a volume and then mesh them. And this is what I did here using the volume measure. The volume measure comes with a cool parameter called voxel range threshold. And by adjusting this you can make the volume or the object grow or shrink. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.